Today I'm going to give you a few simple tips uh, to help you most easily improve your golf game so that this can be your best golf year ever. At 59 years old, I'm playing the best golf of my life. I'm going to share with you a few things that will help guarantee improvement in your own game. Also, do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to accept notifications. Well, we're going to talk about uh, basically first the setup and I've found that for 99% of golfers setting up here is in this position which is commonly taught where the club is at an angle uh, to the arms uh, even though we know that at impact it's going to be like this so every top player and every beginner at impact the wrists uncock so if we just set up for that simply by raising the hands up to where the wrists are uncocked you keep the same distance from the ball um, at first it feels kind of funny but after you make a few swings and you see ball after ball fly better than you're used to uh, you'll know for sure that it's a great idea and it works really well you might have seen Bryson DeChambeau setting up this way when he won the US Open a couple years back and uh, I have thousands of clients over many years who have made the switch and who are playing the best golf of their lives so simply set up raise the hands up and you're ready to go uh, my customizable program also helps you with deciding exactly what strength of grip to use how to find the hand orientation that's going to give you faster success um, and it's really critical to understand our goal in the swing is to get the hands leading the club head through impact uh, so that the club's going to have less rotation going through so you can try this out for yourself move like this less club face rotation than doing this which is what 95 percent of golfers do through impact they have the club face rotating get the hands leading like this there's less rotation it creates a shallow flat spot through impact if you continue rotating through and it creates a straight spot it gives you also more club head speed and helps you hit the middle of the face i mean it's that's why there hasn't been a top player in the last hundred years uh, that didn't have the hands leading through impact. So I have a series of simple drills that basically teaching you from here to here first. Learn to do this. Do this in slow motion. You can pick up a club right now and just practice move the club head back to your trailing foot and then shift and rotate your body in the other direction and rotate through to the leading foot. And you should be able to do this very quickly um, and then make some practice swings and then I want you to see if you can hit a few balls just really with short swings like that starting out. My program takes you all the way from there to a full swing and allows you to send in videos through a free app for my review and you can send in videos daily. It's very inexpensive so check that out at setupforimpact.com and uh, you have access to my complete learning program as well as well as being able to ask me questions. I also use the divot board, one of the best learning tools that I've found, and the divot board actually shows you exactly where you make contact with the ground on every swing, which is one of the most important factors when hitting golf shots. They've been on sale lately, so they were $140, but they're $99 now, and with my code KIRK10, K-I-R-K-10, uh, you save another additional 10%. Uh, so basically what we would do is make some swings with this and I like to start with short swings and you can see exactly where you hit it you can then erase it and try again most people will find that they're hitting much too early so they're hitting back here and the reason for that the reason for that is basically as they're coming in the club is doing that so it's completely released and so it's too low when it comes in and it hits way back there. Our goal if the ball is sitting here is also to first make contact with the ground right there. So starting at the ball there. So if I put a ball up here and then get set up, again I'm set up here also on my impact plane. This is where the arms are going to be going through impact with the wrists uncocked and the wrists in ulnar deviation. Then I take it back on a single plane, one single plane back and through, and it flies dead straight. It also shows me I was a little bit too far away from the ball because it marked a little bit this way, 
I hit about an inch before the ball, which in most cases in the fairway is going to be fine, but I would work uh, to uh, come a little bit closer than that. And usually I'm pretty good at that, uh, hitting the right spot. I could try again. So that was dead perfect. I focused a little bit better, and a lot of it is focused and learning to control the club so that we hit there. So this feedback is invaluable uh, and really, really extremely helpful so that you can actually see exactly where you strike the ground. And most people really need to practice this a lot, but people who work with this will improve. So um, also one of the biggest things I see with people once they get set up here is they're taking the club to the inside and under the swing plane. And this is a big problem because we're, from there, most people are too much from inside coming into the ball and then they can't have the hands leading or the ball would go to the right so they end up having to do this. So for that we talk about swing plane. If I look and get set up here as a nine iron and I move back here, please don't hit balls with a rod sticking in the ground behind you but it's great for making some swings and practicing that we're going back and this is my setup plane. And I'm going to move the club back on one single plane here to there and then come back down that same plane. When you send in video for my review as a member, that's something I analyze and then I direct you on fixing that. Often it's setup related or the intent of taking the club back straighter will fix it. Sometimes we make a slight grip or setup adjustment to fit you. We don't want to try to copy any other golfer swing like I tried to copy the swing of Mo Norman for many years and I only played worse golf. I never really improved and that wasted a lot of time. Uh, and so since I've customized every aspect of my swing, I'm playing the be my best golf ever. And it's basically a uh, setup on my impact plane, uh, swing the club back and down and through on a single plane and learn to get the hands leading. The body is a big part of that, getting the body leading through impact and life is good, you'll play your best golf ever. So check out my website, setupforimpact.com. I also have schools uh, listed there, uh, which are really the fastest way to get you going. But you can start practicing at home right now, doing drills, even in winter, doesn't matter. Starting out with short, short swings and then moving to longer ones. Let me help you play the best golf of your life, uh, setupforimpact.com. Thank you very much, and any comments or questions, put them in the box below. I really appreciate it. Also, do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to accept notifications. Thank you so much, and have a great day.